guys are troopers. Look at you. You're fun. Alright, we're just 30 seconds away from showtime. Let me hear a big yee-haw. Okay, that was really good. Okay, wait. Let me practice my, my thing. Oh, Cowboy Gil, come on over here. And they've got to put the camels under the cover because right now their saddles are getting wet. Who wants to, who wants that experience? Nobody. Nobody. That'll leave a mark. So, I guess that whole rumor about El Nino is true. I think that's actually going to happen this year. Pretty fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you are within the sound of my voice, then you are seconds away from the stupidest show in America! Oh, guys and girls, welcome, welcome. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. But let's race some turkeys and see what happens, shall we? I do have to tell you something. I just had a flashback. One of the funniest and most fun tours that we've ever had here was was raining like this. And it has everything to do with, oh, you're sweet. It has everything to do with the fact that you guys are like, yeah, so. You're fun. We really appreciate that. Guys and girls, welcome to Pomegranate Days. And welcome to um, what we call the, uh, the seedy underbelly of the, uh, of, the t of the camel dairy. And that is the turkey stampede. The turkey stampede is the goofiest thing ever. Uh, Gil and I travel on the fair circuit a lot, performing at county fairs with our beautiful bird show and our very classy camel dairy milking demonstration. And because we work with birds, uh, California State Fair said, hey, could you do something with turkeys? We have a turkey theme. And we went, well, of course we can. We'll race them. Okay, that was the hardest thing that we ever agreed to do. Because turkeys are not known for their super smartness. Um, we had to come up with a pretty clever way to teach them, but it worked out great, and we love these guys. So, uh, uh, my name is Nancy, but everyone give a nice welcome to my husband. Everybody say hi, Cowboy Gil! Cowboy Gil! Cowboy Gil! Now, we have one more trainer we want to bring out here, and this is the guy that really gets our turkeys tearing up this track. So please make him feel welcome and make some noise for the one and only Big Red! <laughs> Joe's already getting stupid. Hey, you guys want to see him do a big trick? You want to see a big trick? All right, check this out. Check this out. Yeah! Oh, oh! In reverse! Okay, wait, he's really scary. He's really scary. He's a Traxxas Emax. He can run like 60 miles an hour. Let's see! Look at that. Okay, that was probably about 10. No, 60. 7, right here. <laughs> But he's not a toy. Don't call him a toy. He's a highly tuned precision piece of turkey training equipment. It says so right on our tax return. It's true. We'll show you. Come here, Big Red. Let's show everybody what you do. Come here, you big hunk of man plastic. Come here. Come on. Now I'm going to take the turkey food and I'm going to put it right here. That's how the show works. Good. Big Red has now magically transformed into meals. Oh, <laughs> I can't see my makeup. <laughs> do I have to have makeup on? I don't know. All right. I think we should get right to it and bring out the first group of turkeys because now I think you guys are just being incredibly polite. I know there's like at least 80 of you that are going, okay, I don't want to be the first one to stand up and leave, but this is getting stupider and stupider. Let's bring out our first group of turkeys for our first race. Like I said, we haven't practiced, so as you see us looking around going, ah, it's, it means you're probably all about to get attacked and you might want to leave the area. Are we good? Heritage, right? Yes. We're going to bring out our first group of turkeys. These are our heritage breed tom turkeys. Let's bring them out here with a big yee haw! Yee -haw! Come on, turkeys! Yee -haw! Look at them! It's raining, you guys! It's raining! Yee -haw! <laughs> Somebody went back in. You're in the rain!
he says so in a book. Bless their hearts. Bless their hearts. Um, these guys right here are about a year and a half old. We get our turkeys as Dale chicks. And no, we don't eat them for Thanksgiving. But yes, we do eat turkey for Thanksgiving. We just go to the store and buy one we don't know. <laughs> That's what you do. We have five turkeys in this group. One who completely is not cooperating. <laughs> the white turkey. He's like, I'm not doing it. And then these are two different breeds called the Blue Slate and the Bourbon Red. Heritage breed turkeys are early versions of the modern day market turkey. And uh, they've been developed here in the United States, which is pretty cool. So here's how the show works. We're going to let them out. They're going to race around this track following Big Red, because that has their food in it. And they're going to race around. And then when they cross the finish line, whoever crosses first wins. So in this show, you get to pick who you want to cheer for. Now, we know you just met him, but let's see who you like in the first race. If you think it's going to be the red team, then let's hear a big cheer for the red team. <laughs> Decent. How about the blue team? Yeah! How about the white team? Yeah! He's in the barn, you guys. I uh, guarantee no win. All right, so is everybody ready? Everybody's ready. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go get them. Come on, everybody. We'll cheer on your team. Let's go, 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 go. Cheer on your team. And they go around that first. Oh, it's a slippery condition. Slippery conditions today. Here they come around. Look at this guy. Coming into the finish line. It's the red team. Let's give him a big hand. <laughs> Would you like to see a victory lap? I know, it's funny. Doesn't it look like the low-budget version of the movie Jurassic Park? Whoa, it's a slippery turn, slippery turn. And let's give him a big hand. Oh, awkward. Awkward. Let's move right into the next race because it's still raining, isn't it? Yes. Now, these are not the turkeys most people are familiar with. So we wanted to bring up the ones that everybody knows, not to make you feel awkward. But these are the turkeys that you invite into your own homes. Um, they are called the Broad-Breasted Bronze and the Giant Holland White. Do you know those names? Do you know the name Butterball? Yeah. That's who they are. These are the big boys. Um, these big breed turkeys get humongous. Our largest one weighs 53 pounds. And the record holder uh, was back at the, the California State Fair in 1972. The record holder for the biggest turkey was 123 pounds. Isn't that creepy and wrong? It is. It is. But this is, it's not because they're fed anything weird. It's not because of steroids or anything. It's because um, they have been selectively bred to get really big. So without any further ado, you are fast. Look at you running around. You're so cute. Isn't he adorable? Can you believe this is what we do for a living? It's weird, but here we are. Let's bring him out here with a big yee -haw! Yee -haw! Look how big these guys are. The biggest is the one who's first by... Oh no, he's the one Gail's touching right there. Come on, right go. There. The biggest one, his name is Turkulies. Turkulies. <laughs> Turkulies is our biggest boy. Next up oh. is um, is Flash. He's the other white turkey. And the last one is Lightning. So who do you guys like this time? The white turkey? Turkulies! That wasn't supposed to happen. How about the uh, bronze turkey? All right. You guys are funny. <laughs> Wait, let me get him. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, turkeys. Go get, come on, go get him. Go get him. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, one more lap. One more lap. All right, everybody. Cheer on your team. Redneck for dang. <laughs> I like these guys. They're the sweetest boys. There you go. Stop like, stop like. There we go. Look, it's new. We got it on eBay, so it doesn't really work. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have one more group of turkeys, and the thing is, when we when we got set up, we gotta go. They're so funny. I'm gonna tell you a quick little story while we get ready for the next group. 
We perform every year at the San Diego County Fair. And on opening, thank you, it's so fun. And on opening day, they did a big um, smorgasbord of all the food that's available for sale at the fair. And they had us come out and trot the turkeys around. Well, we felt really bad, because as soon as we showed up with the turkeys, that's all anybody would look at. Because it's funny, it's funny eye candy. So we thought, okay, let's try to bring the vendors into this. We got with the cinnamon roll guy and put cinnamon rolls in the back of the truck. Funny, right? <laughs> Apparently the heritage turkeys really watch their figures. Because they wouldn't go after it. Really? They wouldn't even look at it. So uh, we got all the way back to our area with our food. And we still have the cinnamon rolls in the back of the truck and the butterballs came out oh my gosh it was like when that show biggest loser goes wrong horribly wrong they attacked those cinnamon rolls so they those boys are bred to eat that's for sure now our last group of turkeys coming out are the ones that were on display the whole time out here today oh um, over in this enclosure they're very very young they're only uh, they're not even a year old and they're uh, two different breeds. The black ones are called Black Spanish, and the bronze ones are called Standard Bronze. They're starting to get big, but they won't get huge. And we didn't want to... These guys were so young when we brought them. If you saw us at the San Diego County Fair this year, did you see the show this year? And did you see the, t the baby turkeys? That's these guys. That's how quick they grow. So... Um, we're just going to see if we can actually have them run into here and go into the starting gate. This might go horribly wrong, um, but that's why I like this show so much. You know, it's not Siegfried and Roy. We're not working tigers. I want you to just look at them. Look at them. Like, it's really wet. I don't want you. I don't want you. But you can to kind of tell them apart. Come on, sweethearts. All the way over here. There you go. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Look at look at Cowboy Gill wrangle those turkeys. Yeah. So we have um, four for the bronze team and three for the black Spanish team. We have one more black Spanish in there, but it's a little female, and she does not like going in the starting gate with all these toms, because you can imagine, they're idiots, and she doesn't want to be in there with them. So um, pretty soon she's going to go to a new home, and that's simply because... Once their hormones kick in and they start looking at each other going, oh, that's a girl, then it just stops being a racing show. <laughs> it becomes a really, really uncomfortable educational show that nobody wants to see that show. So, um, she's, so if anybody would like it, these birds do actually make wonderful pets. They eat bugs. Turkeys will also um, go after and successfully dispatch rattlesnakes. It's pretty cool, right? Not because they're brave. They're just not smart enough to go. That's the whole idea. <laughs> All right, let me get our music queued up. Okay, so who is cheering for... Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Who is cheering for the bronze team? How about the Black Spanish team? Black Spanish team! Okay, wait. Second race. Here we go. Okay, this is, we'll use the family feud music. Here we go. Ready? Let's count them down. Five, four, three, two, one. Go racing! Now, the Black Spanish kind of don't get the idea. But they know they want to catch the truck. They just look out. Away. One more lap. Okay, one more lap. These guys are fast. <laughs> and oh my gosh, it's going to be the Black Spanish! Wow. And the crowd goes wild! Would you like to see a victory lap? Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as the sun sinks into the west, on another exciting edition of our rodeo show, Cowboy Gill and I want to thank you for joining us here for what has got to be the saddest midlife crisis two 53-year-olds could ever be going through. Called the Wild West Turkey Stampede! Nice. You guys are so sweet. Okay, so um, 